again. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. September 19th, man. Let's make it a great night, a great week. Be truthful with yourself. When you're truthful with yourself, you start to see everything as it is, not the way you want it to see it. The wounds of your emotional body are covered by the denial system. When you look at the wounds with the eyes of truth, you can finally heal those wounds. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials close up 39, all time high. S&P's up a buck and a half. NASDAQ up six bucks, 64.61. Gold contract up three dollars and seventy cents, trading at thirteen fourteen an ounce. You had silver up nineteen cents, seventeen dollars thirty five cents an ounce. Platinum down six and a half dollars at six at nine fifty nine an ounce. Copper, copper market out here flat two ninety seven a pound. Light sweet crude down fifty four cents, fifty dollars one cent a barrel. We're gonna have the API numbers out at four thirty, folks. We'll see where the oil contract wants to trade to. 10-year note, 10-year note down four ticks, 125.31. 30-year bond down eight, 154.03. What we still have out here, you get the 10-year yielding 2.2% right now. And if we take a look at the Fed Fund futures rate as to uh, what the probability of the rate hikes are and when they will be, uh, as of tomorrow, it's just about the zero. Uh, November 1st would be the next Federal Reserve meeting, 1.4%. The December 13th meeting, the Fed Fund Futures implied probability that the short-term rate would go up 25 basis points is 53%. Uh, so bottom line is that, uh, you know, December right now is on the table. Uh, that being said, those numbers move around. They move around real quickly, folks. If we do go take a look at that 10-year bond, what you're going to see, you did a million contracts, you're down four ticks. That is, there's no sellers. You know, every time I look at this uh, bottom line, this still wants higher price. Let's go to the TLT uh, and take a look at it because the TLT, you don't have to string the contracts together. So the TLT is the 20 year bond fund, treasury, it's the, it's the iShare 20 plus year bond ETF, treasury ETF. That came down to 5.5 million shares, and you're going into 9.3. Yeah, this bo the bottom line, this still wants higher price. It's pretty amazing because it. What this also did is that when we got to the when we overtook the high of June 26, which is 128.57, we overtook that with 13.6 million shares versus 5.5. Now you're backing into where it decided to go topside from. You're doing it with lighter volume. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. That is saying um, that in, the, in that context, you are going to be going higher in bonds once again. Now, what's going to be intriguing about that is that you have the 2 o'clock statement by the Federal Reserve tomorrow. Uh, if, in fact, they're, in order for bonds to go higher, they'd have to be basically saying that, guess what? We're still not going to go up, okay? Um, it's not going to be, it wouldn't be a hardcore um, interest rate environment, something that would be basically, you know, very timid. Uh, so we'll see where that shakes out. Now, that being said, let's go over, because here's the divergence. Let's go over to the U.S. dollar. Because the U.S. dollar, you know, we're down 234 ticks. You're trading at a price point of 91.590. You're backing into the low of last Friday, and you're doing it with dramatically lighter volume. So the, 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 where the divergence there is, is that that's saying that that wants higher price. If we go into the gold market, when I look at the gold market, I don't think the gold market's done going down yet either. So there's some divergence. So it's going to get interesting, like exactly uh, what is going to be said tomorrow. And guess what? I, we've seen it before on Fed Day. You can get the move both ways. And... Uh, you know, we'll see by the end of the day uh, who's going to win out. Uh, the Fed in the gold contract, 
We traded to 1308 today. Uh, you had light volume. You, you traded into, it the, into the breakout area. We did 267,000 versus uh, 297. You know, when we do look at um, many of these uh, gold and silver equities, however, uh, what we did do is that yesterday you come down with volume, today you get up with lighter volume. That's telling me that we're not done on the way down just yet. Now, I like how they're setting up, but it's telling me that we're not done just yet. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume stocks uh, in this market. Well, first off, let's take a look at the market, because I believe the, we had a low volume market once again. You did 809 million in the NYSE. That's low volume, no doubt. Uh, we take a look at the uh, NASDAQ composite, inside the composite. Inside the composite, we did uh, 1.7 versus 1.8, and uh, that also is low volume. Uh, the uh, composite itself, I believe, closed at an all-time high. Let's see. 64.61. Yeah, it did. Um, it definitely closed at an all-time high. NDX 100, a little bit different. Uh, NDX 100, uh, bottom line was up 9 bucks, but uh, the all-time high inside the NDX 100 is 6,009, I believe, yeah, six, no, 6,012. That was yesterday, 6,012.954. Uh, some of the higher volume stocks in this market, even though it's a low volume market, uh, what you had out here, let's put the S&P back up, okay. So you had Bank of America up 16 cents, Ma Bell was up 79, there was action inside the phone companies today. They are talking about uh, the aspect of Sprint and uh, T-Mobile getting together once again. Uh, that was pushing these phone companies around. You had Verizon up $1.25. Um, General Electric was down $0.26. Cents. You had Citigroup up $55. Banks are running out here. Uh, NVIDIA uh, was flat, $187.35. NVIDIA, uh, that's what took the uh, composite up yesterday. Uh, General Motors up $11. Uh, Facebook up $2.51. Let's go to Facebook. Facebook looks like, it, once again, it's going to hit that high. Yeah, you finished it, it's high on Facebook. Facebook wants to hit this 175.49. Right now, you're at 172.52. You stay right there, folks. We've got our man, Mr. Andy Heck, coming up next. And this is, uh, don't forget, every Tuesday, Thursday, Andy has got a great show, and he's going to be, he's coming up with his 400th show. It's a beautiful thing, folks. Time. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? We're going to be right back, folks.